Welcome to this week's Word Nerd Trivia Challenge. Each week we bring you a 25 question quiz in five different categories. For each correct answer, give yourself a point. Our categories this week are Bands of Brothers, Franken Movies, Canadian Television, Blame It on the Dog, and Sharks. We'll start off with the level one questions, and those should be the easiest of the bunch. Ready? All right. Our first category this week is Bands of Brothers. It's about bands that are made up of siblings. What band, consisting of brothers Robin, Barry, and Maurice, had their biggest success with the soundtrack to a 1977 movie? The answer is the Bee Gees, and of course that movie soundtrack was Saturday Night Fever which is technically the only disco album to ever win a Grammy for Album of the Year. Our next category is Franken Movies. A Franken movie is created when you take two movie titles and smash them together, creating an entirely unique new film. Let me give you an example of this. After suffering defeat on the ice planet Hoth, a young Jedi travels back in time and almost prevents his parents from hooking up. Now that takes elements from The Empire Strikes Back and elements from Back to the Future. So you combine them together and what do you get? The Empire Strikes Back to the Future. You'll get it, don't worry. What title would this movie have? An orphan boy helps a whimsical candy maker escape captivity. It would be Free Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Our next category is about Canadian television shows. What Canadian sketch comedy show introduced the world to characters like Buddy Cole, The Chicken Lady, Cabbage Head, and The Head Crusher? The answer is The Kids in the Hall. Our next category is Blame It on the Dog, and it's all about gases. What is the term for odorless, colorless, monatomic gases that have very little chemical reactivity? The answer is noble gases, though we would have accepted inert gases or aerogens. We are starting early with bonus questions. Which of the following is not one of the noble gases? Helium, neon, xenon, or hydrogen? The answer is hydrogen. While it is odorless and colorless, it is highly combustible. Our final category is all about sharks. What professional golfer is known as the shark? The answer is Greg Norman. All right, moving on to level two. What Southern California rock band formed in 1961 had an original lineup consisting of three brothers, their cousin, and one of their friends. The answer is the Beach Boys. Oh, because we have a bonus question. All right. How many members of the original lineup perform in the current 2024 version? The answer is just one. The cousin, Mike Love. What title would this movie have? The Scorpio Killer is on the loose, and he's interfering with a Tri-Wizard Cup. Only one good wizard can stop him. you will have to break a few rules to do it. That would be Dirty Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. What Canadian teen drama has had multiple variations and ran for nearly 40 years? The answer is Degrassi. It started as the kids of Degrassi Street in 1979, followed by Degrassi Junior High, Degrassi High, Degrassi The Next Generation, and then Degrassi Next Class. Now, there were plans for a new series in 2022, but it was canceled when Warner Brothers and Discovery merged. What gas is typically most prevalent in flatulence? Methane, hydrogen, nitrogen, or prevagen? The answer is nitrogen, which usually makes up about 50% of flatulence, unless you ate here. Then I don't know what's in it. I don't know what's in there, guys. It might be your soul trying to escape. What game show revolved around players trying to determine if the next playing card in a sequence would be higher 
or lower. The answer is card sharks. Moving on to level three. What English rock band, which peaked with 1995's album, What's the Story of Morning Glory, featured two brothers who seemingly were always fighting with each other? The answer is Oasis. What title would this movie have? When they aren't avoiding hordes of zombies in a shopping mall, a group of elite boarding school boys learn about poetry and about life from their unconventional English teacher. It would be Dawn of the Dead, Poet Society. What Canadian show is about the exploits of the hicks, the skids, and the jocks in a town of 5,000 people? The answer is his letter, Kenny. What has added the natural gas to add a smell to it? Oxygen difluoride, water, phosphine, or methyl mercaptan? The answer is methyl mercaptan. What anthropomorphic shark played drums for the band The Neptunes? The answer is Jabberjaw, and just as a personal aside, I cannot believe only 16 episodes of Jabberjaw were ever made. Move it on to level 4. What band, often referred to as a joke band for their quirky costumes and stage shows, was formed in 1973 at Kent State by not one, but two sets of brothers, the Mother's Boz and the Casales? The answer is Devo. A Russian submarine captain plans to defect to America so he can learn about aerospace engineering and one day work for NASA. What title would that movie have? It's The Hunt for Red October Sky. What Canadian teen comedy series is about a high school that's located on a cruise ship? The answer is Breaker High, and okay, I guess we have another bonus question. What former star of the Mickey Mouse Club was one of the students on Breaker High? The answer is Ryan Gosling. Prior to the conversion of digital projection, what kind of gas was used in movie theater projector bulbs? Neon, Xenon, Argon, or Radon? The answer is Xenon. And believe me, it sucked when those things blew up. A Blahage is a plush shark toy that became an internet meme in 2018 when it became associated with the LGBTQ communities. What store sells the Blahage plush? Well, of course it's Ikea. I mean, look at the name. It's got that little circle over the A. What else could it be? All right, this is level five. These should be the hard ones. What American pop band, consisting of brothers Ron and Russell Mail, was the subject of a 2020 documentary film by director Edgar Wright? The answer is Sparks. The rowdiest frat at Faber College is also home to the murderous Firefly family, as well as the failed experiments of Dr. Satan. What title would that movie have? That's Animal House of a Thousand Corpses. What Canadian sitcom is about the Muslim population in the fictional prairie town of Mercy, Saskatchewan? The answer is Little Mosque on the Prairie. A canary in a coal mine is considered a sentinel species because they can detect dangerous gases faster than humans. What police album is Canary in a Coal Mine on? Outlandus de Amor, Zenyara Mandara, Synchronicity, or Ghost in the Machine? The answer is Zenyara Mandara. In what U.S. national park would you find Shark Valley?
It's located in the Everglades. While you're there, you can see the local wildlife right there by the pathway, and hey, maybe you can find a nice note rope for the kids. And that's it for this week's quiz. Add up your score and leave them in the comments. Hey, while you're there, how about throwing us a like and maybe subscribing? We'll be back next week with an all new quiz. Have a good week.